Good morning. Hello, welcome. Today I have come to Burley in the New Forest. Burley is home to so much folklore. We've got witches, dragons, fairies and even smugglers. So let's go and take a look. You might be wondering why Burley is so witchy. Well, Burley was once home to one of Britain's most famous witches, Sybil Leek. Sybil was originally born in Stoke-on-Trent in 1917, but moved to the New Forest at the age of 16, where she lived alongside a group of Romany gypsies. At the age of 20, Sybil decided to move to Burley and settled in the village centre. Sybil's revelations about being a self-proclaimed white witch drew enormous amounts of attention from the media. The Witch Act had only been repealed in 1951, and Sybil claiming to be a witch just a few years later was still quite a taboo. Sybil's eccentric behaviour also put her in the spotlight, and she was often seen walking around the village wearing a long black cloak and carrying her jackdaw, Mr Hotfoot Jackson. Sybil created the Horse of Coven here in the forest, who still practice today. Sadly, the media circus that followed her around drew too much traffic and visitors to Burley. In 1964, her landlord decided not to renew her lease, and she left for America. Before she left, she named the shop that we are looking at now a Coven of Witches, and now lots of other witchy shops have sprung up in Burley in her memory. Sybil became a very successful author in later life and wrote over 60 books on the occult, astrology and other esoteric arts. She sadly died in 1982 in Florida, but her memory is very much still alive in this quiet little village. I'm finally away from the main road which obviously is very noisy and we've also got wind <laughs> wind to deal with today so I do apologize about wind noise road noise um, yeah just one of those things however I've obviously left the village I'm heading up towards Castle Hill which was reportedly home 
of a dragon's lair. So let's go and take a look. This is very pretty. Lovely bluebells there, lining the path. got to be one of the nicest footpaths I've ever walked down. It's so nice. Look at the shape of that tunnel. Whee! Lots and lots of lovely bluebells here. Really beautiful. Got a sty here. <sighs> I need to kind of see. Okay. love all the uh, spooky twisted trees you can certainly imagine the burly witches performing their rituals out here it's fabulous oh wow I think we found the views, the beautiful views. Let's go and have a look. Isn't that magnificent? This is what the new forest is all about acres and acres of rolling hills, heathland and forest. We are free to roam. All the animals are free to roam as well. It's just stunning. So just behind where the sunshine is here, behind these trees, I believe Ringwood's behind there. Oh, I've messed up the, um, <laughs> the focus. There we go. <laughs> I won't do that again. So um, Ringwood, the town, market town of Ringwood is located behind those trees in that sunny spot there. Ringwood's where I call home originally. Uh, and we've got smugglers paths as well running up and down the heathland there. The old smuggling routes. Hopefully you can see them. Just stunning. What a view. Wow. And then behind me, behind that beautiful view, is all the twisty, gnarly trees. I believe that there's an Iron Age hill fort as well, from what I saw on the map. Which might actually be down this bit, because it is raised. Look at that view. <laughs> In the dark, dark woods. might be the hill fort as well. Ah, oh, yeah, look, it's raised there. Aha!
wonderful. Oh look, yeah. There's a ditch. And then a rampart. So this spot here is also supposed to be um, what once was a dragon's lair, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> now the folklore says that every morning this dragon would fly three miles east to Biston where it would drink milk every single morning, that was its routine, and one morning a knight dressed in glass armour ambushed the dragon with his two dogs. Two dogs sadly died in the affray, but the dragon, badly injured, um, flew towards Lyndhurst, which is also in the New Forest, another market town. And sadly, the dragon died on the top of a, a hill, which is known as um, Bolton's Bench. Now, apparently 30 days later, a very sad and um, melancholic knight, although he'd slain the dragon, he was very, very sad. So he went to Bolton's bench and he decided to lie down on top of the hill where the dragon died and die himself. His bow, which he used to kill the dragon, which was made of yew, fell beside him and a yew tree grew there and that yew tree can still be seen today upon Bolton's bench. So there we are. Dragons as well as witches. It's got everything going on in Burley here. Was this the dragon's lair? What do you think? I just thought I'd have another closer look at this Iron Age hill fort. Complete with spooky wood. Once again, I found the mud. Every time. Well now. This is quite a spooky path, isn't it? So dark. Ooh, and muddy. So I've just done like some parkour <laughs> down here <laughs> because it's so inaccessible, it's just so muddy. The path running down the middle is completely boggy, literally sucks your foot in. So <laughs> I'm walking on the verges, but wow, not easy. So I don't recommend coming this way, that's for sure. As creepy and spooky as it is, you know, which is what I wanted to have a look at, it's not particularly nice to walk. Here we go again. <laughs> I've made it through. Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! So now I'm heading back into civilization, back towards the village itself. We've got the Queen's Head pub here. Now, during the 16th century, it's alleged that there were um, smuggling tunnels that ran from the Queen's Head here, underneath, 
towards Burley Manor, which is on the other side of the car park here. I'll show you that in a moment. So when um, the tunnels were found, in the present day, they found pistols, bottles and coins underneath. So there you've got the um, Burley Wagon Rides that still run today. And then over here is Burley Manor. Apologies about the wind. That stunning tree as well. I don't know a lot about Burley Manor apart that I have many good nights there. <laughs> Christmas works parties. That's all I can say about Burley Manor, but it is beautiful. And this part here is a deer park, and often there are deers in here, but I can't see any today. Unless there's some behind that tree. No, I don't think so. But there we are, Burley Manor. So yeah, the, the tunnels, the smugglers' tunnels, ran from Burley Manor to the pub. Queen's Head, which is through the trees there. <laughs> so by all accounts, uh, that house that we're looking at here, this little cottage, used to be Civil League's home. before she was asked to, to leave, sadly. Now, if that's true, which I'm sure it is, you can imagine her walking up here with her jackdaw, Mr. Hotfoot Jackson on her shoulder. <laughs> and this would be the perfect space, close to home, to carry out her magical rituals. Did she use these woods? I can't see her not, to be honest. If they're right on your doorstep like that, why wouldn't you? Wow, I've come to the end of my walk today. So thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed looking at the curious little village of Burley in the New Forest. As always, I'm so grateful for everyone that watches. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really, really appreciate that. Thanks again and take care.